Hey guys, welcome back to Beauty in the Bump. Today I'm going to give you an inside look on my labor and delivery story. Enjoy. Starting to have contractions. They're about 11, 12 minutes apart right now. And they're getting a little bit longer. They started off 20 seconds. I have my, my contraction timer. And they started off at about 20 seconds long, and now they've gotten up to 50 seconds, a minute. So that's exciting. Um, the doctor told me I should go in when I've had contractions five minutes apart that last a minute long, and I've had them for at least an hour. So we're getting closer. Not yet, but we're getting closer. It is 8 o'clock in the morning. I've been getting contractions all night and they're starting to get stronger and closer together. I have this app, it's a contraction timer, so it tells you the time your contractions start, um, how long it is, the duration, and the intervals. So I've been having intervals of 6 minutes and 49 seconds, 6 minutes, 5.54, 8 minutes, 6.21, so they're kind of just jumping around right now, but they're all under 10 minutes. So pretty soon I think. My mom texts me at like 7, 6.37 in the morning and is like, how are you feeling? Do I need to jump on a flight? So they're both really concerned for me. <laughs> My mom was asking if I'm afraid, but I'm not afraid. I don't know. I feel really calm here. I kind of don't feel like I'm in labor because like, I don't feel anything. I feel great and then a contraction hits and it hurts for a while and then I feel great again. If the rest of the labor is like this, I'll be okay. But I have a feeling it's gonna get a lot worse and you're gonna not see me smiling as much after this. Ugh, that one was 51 seconds long. Oh, that one was more painful. <laughs> I've been feeling it, like I feel it in my lower abdomen. Like that's normal, but in the back, it's really bad. And I've had a lot of like lower back pain throughout the whole like third trimester. So I kind of expected it to be bad, but it's hurting a lot. <sighs> Did you do that? <sighs> How far are they apart now? Like three minutes. Time to go in. It's getting really painful. Oof, making me shiver. All right, let's get your stuff. All right, I just got to the car right now. I went back to get the uh, the car seat. I have the car seat with me, I have their overnight bag with me. And we're heading out, we're out of here. Oh. We go, should I put on the hazards? And get me <laughs> oh man, they're really hurting now. And I'm like shaking after them, I shake. Let's see if we made enough progress to stay or if they're gonna send us home. I feel like I don't even know how I could get farther along than this, <laughs> but you never know. How do you feel, Dad? I feel like a million bucks. He feels like a million bucks. I don't feel like a million bucks. <laughs> but uh, we're probably having a baby today. Hopefully by the end of the day. <laughs> Hopefully by this afternoon. That would be better, but you know. Can't have high expectations. <laughs> Whatever you want. Is it to you? If you want a sandwich, like you want a legit sandwich, right? 
Of the protein? So you can have strength? Yeah. Because of the hospital, they just give you like crackers and jello and. Let's get the sandwich in the system. Yeah. Sounds good. I know she's definitely hungry and she, we haven't eaten all night. She's been up all night. She hasn't had any kind of sleep yet, so we gotta get a sandwich real quick. We gotta get something for her real quick. Mariah's outside right now. We're, gonna, we're about to go check up on her. The sandwich is getting made. We're trying to get her some kind of food before we go to the hospital. It's exciting. She's about four minutes apart right now with all her uh, contractions. So hopefully she doesn't have the baby in the car. But she need to eat. She need to eat. The blurry thing right now, look. You don't want to be seen. You don't want to be seen. You're going to have the blurry thing. <laughs> That's really spicy. <laughs> Woo! For real? Mm -hmm. You put the chipotle sauce in it. I got you two different kinds of drinks. I don't know if you wanted the, the sweet tea or the green tea. Hot green tea. Both ways before we cross. Imagine. No more. Oh. Pinkies up. <laughs> Okay, here goes one. Who eats the sandwich? Who eats the sandwich? Babe, stop choking right now. Sorry. And the Rocky music behind this. I can only choke in between contractions. I really hope she comes today because if she doesn't and I have to deal with this for another day, it's not going to be great. But I don't know how your contraction can be so close and she doesn't come. Like, does that happen to people? I don't know. We'll see. But we're about, how long? Like five minutes away? Three. Like three minutes away. Luckily, our hospital is really close. It's like... On the map, it says 12 minutes, but Ed knows like a different way to go that's shorter, so. Destroyed that sandwich. <laughs> hey, it's Waldo's birthday and his song is playing. <laughs> Happy birthday, Waldo. Happy birthday. We're on our way to the hospital. Don't so. tell anybody yet. <laughs> yeah, don't tell anybody yet, but you might share a birthday with their baby. <laughs> The sandwich is spicy. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <sighs> okay. She wanted to take the steps, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not making her do this. She wanted. We have to get this going faster. Not these steps, though. We going. To <laughs> Third floor, labor and delivery. Right. You're walking through a contraction? She is a champ. Walking right through that contraction. We're at St. John's Hospital in Yonkers. In labor and delivery. And no one's here. Where are we going? Let's I go. don't know. Let's go this way. We get a flat screen? Woo! Hi guys, Mariah right now, she's changing into her hospital robe in the bathroom and we just got a room. Uh, they're gonna make it real comfortable here. They have the bed ready. It's all warm in here. Uh, we have This device here. I don't know the the name of it I don't know the medical name of this, but this is where the baby's gonna be after she's born. That's a little heater right there This thing gets hot. Ah, no, I'm just kidding. It's not on right now 
You got this, baby. You got this. Don't throw this stupid. I don't want this clipboard. Okay, you don't need a clipboard. We're getting rid of the clipboard. Okay, I'm gonna fill out the paperwork for you. Go over there. For what? You can see the number of a heartbeat. It's comfy. having a contraction I said go for it <laughs> she went what do you mean go for it <laughs> you don't say go for it you say you got it I was like okay you got it go for it go get I, that go I get really that can't control if I go for it or not it's just gonna happen it just came out all right it just came out I was like go for it <laughs> you know like just go get it <laughs> You're sitting on a wee wee pad. I've been demoted to a puppy. <laughs> okay, she just checked. She just, hold on, you say. She it. said, Are you kidding me? You're eight centimeters tiny. <laughs> Are we gonna have this baby today? We're having this baby today. We're having this baby today. Today. Ooh. All right. This is the time where you tell mommy and daddy. And I can the call them, right? I tell mommy and daddy, call them. Oh my god. <laughs> you excited? Yes, I am. Evelyn. Eight centimeters right now. She's getting admitted. Yep. Hey dad. Well, you don't have to, yeah, you don't have to rush, but I'm just letting you know. Hey, I'm eight centimeters dilated. I'm eight centimeters dilated. Tell me you have to be ten. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, they're admitting me. They checked me. Tell me, hold on. Tell me, hold on. Hold on. She's, get, she's, getting, she's getting a contraction right <laughs> now. She said, just wait, give her a second. It's happening today. It's happening. <sighs> Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Right here. You're so pretty. Thanks. We just posted, we just went live. We just went live a few seconds ago, just kind of letting everyone know that we are at the hospital having this baby today. So excited, so excited to have you guys with us. And I know Mariah is really excited too. Uh, no epidural, you gotta tell them, you gotta tell them. What did the doctor say when she came in here? That she doesn't think I need the epidural. Um, because I'm already eight centimeters dilated, so basically, um, so she doesn't need to think I need the epidural, but I am gonna get the IV pain medicine just because. Okay, so I learned not to speak while Mariah's having a contraction, so no matter what happens, don't say anything because <laughs> she gets mad. The doctor just got here and she's about to break Mariah's water, so we're not gonna be able to film that part, but it's happening right now, so we're really excited about this. She was not able to rest before. We've been up since 12 p.m. yesterday. So she's been up over 24 hours at this point. So she's just going to try to get some rest. And they're just going to monitor really closely because the baby is going to be due any minute. The baby will be born any minute now.
She just attempted to push a few seconds ago. The doctor said she's coming down little by little. We're almost there. She got it. She's doing so good, guys. So good. You got it, baby. You got it. It's okay. You know daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. This is my baby. This is my baby girl. Look at her. Such a cutie. There you are. There you are. She's seeing for the first time right now. Baby, she's opening her eyes. Hey, I'm the first person you see. Don't cry. Okay, I, I know. I'm not the I'm not the most beautiful person in the world. I know. But hey, but hey, I mean you. Come on, mama. Daddy's here. You want me to beatbox again? You did it. Look at it. Look at you. Look at you. You're a champ. Wow. It took like 20 minutes, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, from the when you started pushing. Wow. It was hard. It was so hard. I thought with like three pushes she was going to be out, <laughs> but it took, um, I don't know how many, I stopped counting. The doctor said I did good for my first baby, um, that she came really quick for my first, so happy. I'm tired, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted? You worked so hard. <sighs> you worked so hard, you did so good, didn't you? I don't think I've ever been so tired. Huh? There you go. That's all your efforts. All your nine months right here. Hey guys, we did it. She weighs 7.9 pounds and is 19 inches long. And she's so cute. She's right here sleeping. Um, as soon as she came out, she was playing with her hands, like stepping on her hands. So I already know that's going to be a thing. <laughs> but I'm really happy. And we're really blessed. And really happy she's here and she's healthy she hasn't had any any issues yet they're keep, obviously keeping us here for a little bit to just look at her and make sure nothing develops but she's really healthy so far so we're really happy and we're blessed she makes your little faces when you when you're sleeping the... and then you also go <laughs> you are the risen king Seated in majesty, you are the risen King. We did it. We sung two songs for her. She was going hysterical, crying, and I had her on my chest. I started singing. She sang with me. And the thing that we sometimes forget is that they hear everything. And when they're inside the womb, they know people's voices, they recognize sound, things make them comfortable when they're in there. So we wrapped her up really tight and we started singing the songs that we sing at church, which she already knows, because we sing them a lot for the last nine months. And we sang a few songs that we thought she would know and she passed right out. We're talking about like five to 10 minutes, done. 
complete from hysterical crying to completely knocked out. I wish we would have started recording this from the beginning. So I would definitely advise to create the same sound and atmosphere that you think she was used to um, inside the womb so she can feel comfortable and safe and wrap her up nice and tight and she will go right to sleep. Look at this little princess. Looking right at the camera. Look at you. <laughs> Looking right at the camera. Okay, I'm ready for my close-up, Daddy. We just finished signing the discharge papers, and we're gonna take her home. So today, yay! We get to take a baby girl home. Yeah, she's all dressed up in a cute little outfit. <laughs> Who bought this? Do you remember? I bought this. This you is the it? only outfit that I bought. Isn't it cute? <laughs> she's ready. She's comfortable here. All right, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. They were amazing. They were amazing here. We loved, 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 loved this hospital. It was so perfect. This was made so that you can carry it like this if you want. Yeah. Here's our first car ride. See if she wakes up or if it suits her more. <laughs> I suppose she likes it so far. I hope she's not one of those babies that we have to drive around in the car uh, to get to sleep. Like <laughs> yep, that was middle me. Of night, middle of the night, putting them car seats taken into the van, <laughs> driving around for half hour until they slept. <laughs> Got it. Okay, Good we job, found Dad. The, we found the latch. We found the latch. Let's go. <laughs> Hey boy. Hey boy. Hey, oh, look at this. <laughs> Welcome home. Look at this. Welcome home. Welcome home, baby. Welcome home. Ready to get out of here? Are you ready? So ready. Let's go. We're ready to go to sleep. That's what we're ready. The grandparents are upstairs. Grandpa's setting up the, the swing for her now. The baby just ate, she's knocked out. We're trying to get at least four hours of sleep right now. <laughs> Being four hours of sleep, that's gonna oh be amazing. Here we are three weeks later and she's with us. Say hi, mama. Hi. It's her first vlog and we're really excited to have her here, right? <laughs> we're gonna be doing a lot more videos like this. We've been reviewing a lot of products for you, right, mama? Yeah, yeah a lot of products that we're gonna tell them about. So keep following us, subscribe to see more videos like this.